It's Monday! What's good? Before we get started, as always, like that thing. Like, what's up? I like this video, YouTube. Anyway, so I wanted to make a quick video today around the idea of losing momentum and motivation in your practice. Now, what I'm about to say may be a wee bit contradictory, so just stay with me for a second, okay? So, when we do our practice, we typically do our practice because it brings us some type of benefit or it brings us a lot more clarity around the situation or it may ground us and find a little peace when things aren't going so well. But in that same vein, contemplative practice can actually bring up trauma and a little bit of hurt. And it can be used to help us deal with a lot of traumas and find peace, which, you know, but the thing is, contemplative practice in and of itself is work. It takes time, it takes energy to do that. And when there are a lot of things, when we have, specifically when we have a lot of competing priorities, like work and teaching our kids while they're home during a pandemic, sometimes our contemplative practice can kind of fall off to the wayside. So what I wanna to offer today, and even myself, like I haven't been journaling as much as I used to, so usually when I find myself, when I haven't done a practice, what I like to do to get myself back into it is to ease myself back into it by setting a goal and setting a small achievable goal at that. So, so this week, I really want to get back into journaling, kind of getting it right. And it takes a lot to like get your hand to move and get a pen and paper and stuff. So my plan is, is to only write for three minutes for this week three minutes each day to kind of get me flowing back into it and some days I may write for five minutes or I may write for ten minutes or whatever but setting a small manageable goal can help us to get back into the flow of doing a practice so if you kind of fell off in yoga well maybe you'll say well this week I want to spend five minutes of my day doing yoga or I want to do this one pose for two minutes a day to kind of get yourself into it because again your mental your brain has to get you back into the flow. Like you have to get back into the flow of it. And so for me, what I offer is, when you find yourself less motivated or not really feeling to do it, just set a small achievable goal to get yourself back into the flow. And so this week, if there's a practice you haven't done in a while or you're not really feeling it, even your exercise, just set a small manageable goal that can help you get back into the flow of doing things. So that's the video for today. As always, like, subscribe, and share. Share the video with all your friends and family and all that. So that's the video, and I'll see y'all next week.